the president and CEO of the Motion Picture Association of America, Jack Valenti. While we celebrate the arts, let's not fail to recognize the business of film. The art of American movies beguiles and enchants the world's people with entertainment that few other countries can duplicate. The economics of our business equally fascinates the U.S. Treasury. For our films return to this country over $4 billion annually in surplus balance of trade. So we salute the filmmakers and the stars who attract such splendid box office results. And one international favorite is an extraordinary woman, the gifted five-time Academy Award nominee, Glenn Close. The Academy's recognition of the ever-widening world of cinema expands the standards of all film as global artists bring their vision to our screens. Foreign films enrich all our lives, speaking to us in the universal language of motion pictures as well as their own indigenous tongues. This year, from four countries, the entrants for best foreign language film are from Russia, close to Eden, Nikita Mikhalkov, director. From Belgium, Dan's, Sten Konings, director. From France, Andoshin, Regi Vanya, director. From Germany, Stonk, Helmut Dietl, director. And the Oscar goes to France, Andoshin, Regi Vanya. Well, you made my day. <laughs> wow, this is something. This is Hollywood. Uh, Eric produced uh, Indochine and I directed it. Uh, I've been a movie goer since the age of 10. So tonight I want to thank uh, first my friends of Sony Classics. Marcy, Tom, and Michael. And especially the heroes of my youth. I mean Richard Widmerk, Gregory Peck, Dorothy Malone, Linda Darnell, Stuart Granger, and so many. Because they made me dream that maybe someday I would be a movie maker. I'm just curious, how many of you are candidates for mayor? <laughs> hmm. Interesting.